Daryl, does it come down to this? Because I think about this a lot, and I don't want to act like this is my own thought because I actually think a friend told me this one time. But either way, I'll pretend like it's mine. I'll just steal someone else's work. It's that half the problem that our politicians, our leaders, a lot of them are just dorks. And I'm not saying that to be mean. You know, I like dorks just fine, but we don't have a bunch of freaking captain of the football team guys. We don't have a bunch of boxers, as you just pointed out. We don't have a bunch of that. Yes, there are some. You know, you've got some Green Berets here and whatnot, and you've got that. But for the most part, we have the kid who was running for class president in high school, and he's just always been that guy. And now we look at him, you look at him, I look at him, and you're saying, fight, tooth and nail. Well, you don't have a fighter there. He doesn't even have the mentality. He wouldn't even know what to do. Yeah, and it you know it, politics really selects for a certain personality type, as you said, right? A narcissistic personality type that deeply, deeply craves the approval of others, and getting the approval of your voters is great. That gets you into office, but for a lot of you know conservative leaders, Republican leaders, getting the approval of your voters that doesn't bring you any actual social affirmation within your own circles within your own class right like you in order in order to have that affirmation among your peers you need affirmation from the new york times you need it from these prestige institutions that are completely colonized and owned by your enemies and uh, you know to, to break people of those habits when they're probably deeply ingrained personality traits is going to be very difficult you see a guy like donald trump Donald Trump's kind of that guy. You know, I don't think he ever was the varsity football captain or anything, but he's still kind of that guy who, you know, they say in New York on the construction site, he could get along with all the construction guys. They loved him out there. He's sort of that that kind of guy, that extroverted alpha male type. And yet he, even he, is somebody who, like, what is he doing still giving interviews to the New York Times? Why would he do that? Like, why would he go talk to any of these people? And you know, it, it it maybe just goes again to that to that deeply ingrained personality trait that on some level he still wants their approval and won't feel whole in, in, unless he gets it. And and maybe that doesn't describe Trump. Maybe he's got his own calculations for why he does those things, but it definitely describes most politicians. Yeah. No, I see it too. I, I yell about it all the time. Sitting down with your mortal enemies right before they go write a 10,000 word article about you being the Antichrist and then doing it again with the same person. It's, it is something else. It is the Martyr Made podcast. I freaking love it. Dude is a wealth of knowledge. Daryl, thank you, my brother. I appreciate you, man. We got to break bread soon. You want to watch our special on George Washington? It's freaking awesome. Well, you can. All you have to do is become a First TV supporter. That gives you access to all of our specials on demand, and it's cake. All you have to go to, to is thefirsttv.com slash support. Thefirsttv.com slash support. Become a supporter. Enjoy learning about George Washington.